What? I'm making a video. Please don't interrupt. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Drive off the road. So I wanted to make a video kind of summing up my time in North Dakota. I just spent a month here and I'm leaving in a couple days and I'm excited to get back on the road and see new places, but I'm also kind of sad to go because all in all, I actually really like North Dakota. Um, I think really my only complaint is that even in April it was still really cold and um, and that made it hard to get out and do stuff. But um, of course, as I'm leaving, the weather's starting to get nicer. <laughs> Actually, the first day that I got here, I think it was like in the 70s. And the, my last day here is also supposed to be in, in the 70s. So kind of interesting. Um, North Dakota. So I'm in like North West. North Dakota, I think, or like kind of north central up a little bit. I'm probably about an hour from the Canadian border. And I was a little worried when I first entered North Dakota and I was coming in from the southeast. It was really flat and kind of boring. <laughs> um, but eventually, I guess the farther north or maybe the farther west that I got, the hills started to appear. And so the town that I'm in, it's surrounded by hills, which is really nice. And I love the hills. They just look like these soft pillows <laughs> of grass, basically. Citizens Valley Inn Cafe. And I'm really close. I'm like 30 minutes from a pretty decent sized town that has um, grocery stores, Starbucks, Ross, Barnes and Noble, Walmart, like pretty much everything, which is awesome, but it's not a huge city, which I like. So I go there like once a week to run errands. And the people are pretty nice. Um, it was awesome being only 10 minutes away from a wildlife refuge. That was definitely like my favorite thing about this and about where I'm staying. Um, and I got to take Stella there and go hiking and you get to hike up to the top of the hill and look down at the lakes and all this stuff. And it's really pretty. Um, and I think Stella had a good time too. I think she liked it. She liked our yard. Lots of new smells for her. Um, and yeah, I think it was really cool. It snowed like halfway through. days it was really cool it looked really pretty and then after that 
I was ready for it to be warm again. And of course it was really cold for like the next week or so. And the next couple weeks it was just kind of bleh, too cold for me. <laughs> um, and I think I kind of went into like a little, <laughs> my seasonal affective disorder kicked in and it was a little depressing because it was too cold to go outside, too cold to go on walks, get fresh air, exercise. And I was just kind of cooped up inside. Um, and just felt really like tired and didn't want to do anything. So that was kind of rough. Um, so I'm glad that the weather is getting better and we have a park like two minutes away and there's rarely ever anyone there. So I take Stella there a lot too. Um, I loved how quiet it was here. The little town I'm in, I'm on a dead end street. And the only thing I could hear were the birds. There were lots of birds. Um, and the train, the train goes like right through the town. Literally, I can see it from my backyard when it's going through. Um, and I don't mind train sounds. I like them. Um, and eventually got to the point where I really didn't even notice them anyway. Uh, and then, yeah, all the birds, lots of robins and Canadian geese. And today we saw ducks for the first time flying around, which was cool. And then today I stopped by the gas station in the town, which I'd been to once before for gas, but I'd never actually gone inside to see what they have and I went in to get like a soda or something and they had a lot of really cool stuff and I picked up my little souvenirs I'm gonna take um, my little North Dakota souvenirs let me get them uh, so this might be my favorite we've got this cool like North Dakota mug with the <laughs> bison on it which I, I really like um, and then I got me a magnet that I can put on my fridge when I get home and of course yeah <laughs> bison again or buffalo um, postcard and then <laughs> as I was checking out um, I also saw this and I had to get it because Stella was even in the car it says happiness is a pit bull smile isn't it Stella she's not paying attention <laughs> So, <laughs> now you paying attention? Now you paying attention? <laughs> so yeah, North Dakota was awesome. And um, I just wish I had had time to go to the capital, Bismarck. And right next to it, there's a town called Jamestown and they have the world's largest buffalo statue, which um, I would have enjoyed seeing, but you know, there just wasn't enough time. It was actually kind of far away. It was like three hours away. And I'm hoping that my next stop, I'll actually see real life Buffalo where I'm going. So that would be pretty cool too. Um, Cause I think Buffalo are really cute. So yeah, I, I could kind of see myself living here. Um, definitely could not be here in the winter though. I would probably get really depressed, but North Dakota's pretty cool place. I like it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes next. Mm -hmm.